Uh, this is still a work in progress, so please hold back on criticizing me for this song. Here we go. Good morning and welcome to my YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe or else these dinosaurs will come and eat your family. <laughs> Yeah, they're gonna come back from extinction and eat your family if you don't like and subscribe. Welcome to A Day in My Life in Atlanta, Georgia. What an amazing YouTube video concept. Who's done that? No one's done a day in the life video before. Wow, I'm not sleeping on the floor anymore. My mattress has been elevated. I'm gonna show you some new things in my apartment and we're gonna go do something fun. Try to find something fun in the city of Atlanta before I have to go to work today. Oh, check this out. Ooh, someone texted me. Maybe it's a movie producer offering me a big movie deal. Nope, it is just my electric bill. Bills suck. I have so many bills and I'm not even a duck. I just figured out how to set the timer on my coffee pot, which really helped me get out of bed today. So it's actually a little bit earlier than I've been getting up lately. I highly recommend getting a coffee pot that auto brews. So my apartment started to smell like coffee and I had the window open and the light was coming through and it really helped me get out of bed. Adulting, yay. I got my diploma about eight months ago and I finally hung it up. I like to wake up in the morning and remember that I have some smart qualities about myself. That I have a degree in, in something that proves that I'm not, that I'm smart. I'm just checking my emails and it is currently 10 a.m. And I'm checking the entertainment news. I'm checking my text messages and kind of planning my day out basically. It's 10 a.m. I should probably get out of this bed at this point. <clears throat> I got this plant from Ikea. I named it Karen, but it's probably gonna die because I keep forgetting to water it. But for right now, it's all, it's around. Here's a new dresser. So my bathroom light doesn't come on without the fan coming on, so can't really record much in here, but here's a, a quick video of me brushing my teeth. Um, this actually isn't for entertainment purposes, this is just to prove to my dentist that I'm brushing twice a day and flossing once a day, like the dinosaurs used to tell us in the commercials. I can't brush my teeth without foam just falling out. Like, how do I solve this problem? Just look at this. How do I solve this problem? I've never been able to solve it. It's just falling out of my mouth. Like, what What do I do? What do I do? It just falls out of my mouth. So I'm just sitting on my sitting on my porch drinking my coffee and about to get the day started. It's a great morning. There's birds chirping and it's raining, which it's very peaceful out this morning. I want to do this more often. I want to come out on my porch and drink coffee and wake myself up. I feel like this would be a really good morning routine. I just need to finish my coffee and then I'm not sure what I'm going to do next, but thank you so much for watching and let's see what today has in store. So I have this going on. I think it's actually really kind of cool. So I just wanted to share it with you all. In place of a traditional living room, I have set up a self-taping studio. A lot of auditions are done from home nowadays. So everyone has to have a decent setup. I have my camera and then I turn on the lights. I put auditions on tape and this is where I do that. The lights have really improved the quality of my self-tapes. I've had four auditions, no, five auditions this year so far. So I'm hoping something comes through. As an actor, you just put in a lot of auditions and you definitely don't book everything. You just have to keep auditioning and then keep training and hopefully something comes through. This is just the current setup. It works, it does everything I need it to do right now, but I do plan to keep evolving it. 
here's my shoe rack and here is my movie poster from my bedroom back home to make me feel a little more at home. I got this chair and this table from Ikea and I really like this setup. It's great for reading books. It's great for just hanging out and doing stuff on my computer and whatnot. All right, I need to go shower and then I'm gonna get my day started. I watched The Little Things on HBO Max. I think it's Denzel Washington and Remy Malek. I love thriller movies. Those are some of my favorite movies or thrillers. Highly recommend checking that one out. HBO Max has been killing it lately with their content, so I, I'm a huge fan of HBO Max. Judas and the Black Messiah just came out on HBO Max. I was an extra in that. I'm a little blurb in the background of one of the shots. It's still pretty cool that I made the cut. It barely even tells me but it's still really cool that I got to be on set and see the main actors and be on set for a day. So I just want to stop by the movie theater that I've gone to here, downtown Sandy Springs. I wanted to see if they had the movie poster for Judas and the Black Messiah. I know it's not like a big deal, like I was an extra or whatever, but I don't know, it was just so cool being on set and like, it's such a big movie right now. Warner Brothers produced it. And I just wanted to see if they had the movie poster up at the movie theater and I'm actually not even entirely 100% confident they do. I would assume they do. It's like the biggest movie out. Oh, yep, I see it. <laughs> That's cool, I'm gonna just get out for a second and I'll show you guys what I'm looking at right now. But I know, I was just an extra. I didn't even like get featured, I was just in the background of some of the shots. I was like blurry for most of it. But it's still cool that I got to be on set. Like all of the restaurant scenes in the movie, I was there, I was, I was one of the people, one of the many people in the background. Anyways, fun fact about this movie theater, they shot a scene from Stranger Things here. There's a scene where the kids sneak into the movie theater and this was that movie theater. The bartender here told me that when I was here one time. So I'm currently in Buckhead, it is, what time is it? It's 12.14. I think you can see this fish in the background. It's the Atlanta fish market. You can kind of see it in the background. There's a giant fish. <laughs> like, it's pretty cool. But I saw a Shake Shack and they don't have those in Michigan and I haven't had it since I was in New York. So I thought I would try some Shake Shack. That fish is so big. That is a big trout. <laughs> We've got these masks on still because of COVID-19. So if you're watching this in the future, Hopefully we aren't still wearing these masks. It was better than I remember, honestly. Hey, thanks for coming along with me today. I don't have a lot left to do other than I have to go to work at 5 p.m. and it's a Saturday night, so the restaurant's gonna be super busy. I really appreciate you coming and watching my vlog today. I really wanna make this YouTube channel larger. I wanna grow the audience, so if you know anyone you think would enjoy this content, please share my channel with them. Uh, this is still a work in progress, so please hold back on criticizing me for this song. Here we go. Sometimes I stop at green lights. Sometimes I drive too slow. Sometimes I daydream and forget which way to go. I forget which way to go. Inside the world in my head Instead of the one with everyone else Been trying to change The outside world So you can get a glimpse for yourself For yourself, for yourself
Thank you so much for coming along for the ride today. I have to go to work right now. That's why I'm wearing this black polo. It really means a lot that you watch this video and make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next week. Thank you.